finally back home. I hate going outside of this home. It feels like everything is just so boring. Ah, I have truly fallen deep into this, haven't I? But it's okay. They seem to be relatively cooperative. And they're not trying to call for help or call anything. So I think that they're actually enjoying their time here. And, and maybe with me. I went outside to get them something special. It's been a month that they've been here and I just, I think that it's time that they finally get a little bit more freedom. Having them tied up in the basement isn't exactly romantic, but it's the only thing I could do. I mean, I couldn't risk that they would try to hurt me or run away when all I want to show them is love. Why can why can't they see that? I, I I think they do see that. I think they do see that I'm just trying to give them my love and my affection and everything to do with that because I just love them so much. But the only way for me to Make sure that they know that is to keep them down there. But not anymore. I'm going to finally give them a little bit more of a choice. I think... I think I'm ready to give them the choice for their freedom. <laughs> I'm home. Did you miss me? I know it must have been a not fun experience being down here alone in the dark while well, I was gone, so I tried to rush, but I, I got you a gift. Do you want to open it? <laughs> That's right, I wrapped it in everything. I wanted to make it feel a little bit more special. Here. I'll untie you so you can open it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, don't just stand there. Open it. I didn't spend all that time wrapping it just for you to look at it. <laughs> what is it? Well... I guess I should explain what it is. In this box are two keys. One of them is the key to the front door, and another is the key to the spare room. My gift for you is that that room has been fully decorated and set up for you if you want to stay in it. Obviously, you have no choice. Um, <laughs> I, I'm used to saying that. What I, I meant to say was you do have a choice. That's my gift to you. And obviously, I, I know this is risky, but I trust you. And I've been reading a little bit and I figured out that a relationship is built on trust. Nothing else. It has to be with trust and a connection of both parties loving each other. And so, for the first time, I wanted to give you a choice. Over the past month, I've been getting to know you and your interests and hobbies and all that. And my gift was the room itself. I decorated it and filled it with stuff that I think you would like in a room that I, I think you would enjoy. But I also wanted to give you another choice as a part of the gift. It's been a month here and you've been chained up away from your normal life 
for a month and it's time that you're given a choice in the matter. Whatever you choose, I really, I, I won't judge you either way. I won't be mad at you. I won't say that it's a lie or anything. This is, this is truly my intention. I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again. I do love you. And even though my ways of showing that are not really normal, I'm, I'm still trying to show it and I'm, I'm trying to get better. When I first met you, I bet you could tell that I was a little off my rocker. But I, I've calmed down since you've been here. And I've, I've started working on myself and making myself better. And I truly believe that that's from your presence. Voluntarily or not, you being here has helped me and made me become a better person. But I don't want you here unless, unless you want to be here. That's what you've taught me. You've taught me that it's not right to keep you here unless that you really want to be here. Because it's not real unless you do want to be here. All this time you could have just been faking the memories and the parts that are more happy than others and what I'm saying is I'm giving you the choice one of these keys the red one is the one that leads to your room or the room that I made you and the other one the blue one that is the exit I know that if you leave You'll call the police, and I will be... But that doesn't matter. What does matter is that you do what you want. Because... Because I don't want you staying here unless you want to. And if I've really put you, someone I really care about, through a really awful experience then I want to be punished for that accordingly. So, in a way that this choice is for you and your future, it's also for mine. And I will admit, I've done awful things. Bringing you here was an awful thing. But I want to continue into normality. And this is my request to you. Here, you can have both of them. I don't mind which one you choose. In fact, I, I don't really want to look. If you're gone in the next few minutes, that's okay. I don't mind, I gave you that choice for a reason. But I don't want to watch it happen. You've, you've taught me a lot of things. But what you taught me mostly is that... How to be a good person. And I don't want seeing you leaving to revert all the work that you've done. So the choice is yours. I won't look. Huh? What's... What's this? Did you smash a key? More importantly, did you just smash the blue key?